Hey gang, I'm Rita. And I'm Tanya. And welcome to the, the adventures, adventures of, of two, two fat, fat chicks. chicks. And this morning, we're out to drown some worms. That's where our adventure started. It has taken a bit of a left turn. And Rita's going to show you guys some video of the train wreck that other that people That sent left. me high and right. Right. So this, this is, is an, ridiculous. It's an adventure that shows our passion, our anger, and how to deal with those things in a positive way. We, two fat chicks, are going to clean up some mess. And we are going to invite you guys, when you see it, to do two things. One, clean up the mess. Two, call out the idiots who left the mess. Your mama taught you better. So pick up your junk. There is garbage everywhere, all over the place, just laying around over on the picnic table in this little pavilion, water bottles and all kinds of trash left laying around. I'm so disgusted. I can't fish. I'm not going to clean it all up. No. And I can't fish. Yeah, I can't go put a rod in the water with with mess all around us. That's ridiculous. Right. Look at all the alcohol bottles and cans and garbage. Mm -hmm. Twisted tea and fireball cinnamon whiskey. This is repulsive. You bag everything, but you can't walk 30 yards and put it in a dumpster? Come on now. Not that hammered. So this is not a normal state of affairs out here. Normally people clean up after themselves and take care of the details, but this is... Oh, I'm so angry. There's no excuse for this. Absolutely none whatsoever. So folks, check this out. This is a huge garbage bag. Ron and Leaf bag. Look at this. Three quarters full. Two fat chicks that are busted were able to pick this stuff up in five, five minutes. Five minutes. So for those of you who pick up after yourself, which are 90%, because usually you guys do an amazing job, and we love that and we're grateful. So keep it up. For the other 10% that leave this junk, what? You crush your cans, so that makes you quote-unquote environmentally friendly, Get the garbage to the garbage, folks. And if you see somebody else doing this crap, call them out. But there you go. So now we've got the mess cleaned up. We'll dump it in the dumpster and then we'll go get our fishing rods and get our fishing on. So now we cleaned up the mess in the pavilion 20 feet away from our little dock where we fish. And as we're walking up to go fishing, look what greeted us. A lovely, our lovely geese and their goslings. And we've been watching this family of geese since early spring. So Mama Nature came out and thanked us <laughs> for doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go drown some worms. Yeah, baby. It's a baby. <laughs> it's a tiny bit bigger than bait, but it's a fish. <laughs> and better than what we cleaned off the, the tables. Yay. Yay! One fishy wishy. Two. Two fishy wishies. I got the first one. Oh, look how pretty oh, that is. Oh, Rita got the second one and it's bigger. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woohoo. Woohoo. On her Barbie reel that we're pointing out she <laughs> bought for her daughter when her daughter was five. Her daughter is now 21. 21. <laughs> and that reel works great. Yep, yep, yep. So that <laughs> is the adventure of two fat chicks. We are now smiling in cleaning up someone else's mess. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> the girls get in the way. <laughs> cleaning up someone else's mess. Acknowledging those of you who take care of our community. We love you guys. Most of you do it. 
And for the other small percentage who don't and leave a wreck, shame on you. Your mama's ashamed and so's your dad and grandma and granddad. Other than that, we love you guys. Bless you. Have a good one.